me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you you can't. Something, go get it. Period. Where do the Cowboys go from here? <laughs> Back. I still think there's a lot of excitement that it should be there in Dallas. Based on what he did in preseason and that running game, they're, they'll be okay. He's got it. That was the thing that uh, the coaches, the scouts said in the draft room. He's got it. That's what they said about him down at the Senior Bowl when he won the most outstanding player. Something special is going on with my new Dallas Cowboys. A fourth round rookie from Mississippi State is changing the way they play football on both sides of the ball. He's inspiring both sides, the offense and the defense. He is making my Cowboys trustable again. And it's been a long time since I used the word trust in the same sentence with my Dallas Cowboys. To say the first half of the season has been emotional would be a huge understatement. Um, getting hurt when you feel like you have the best team you've ever had was a soul-crushing moment for me. Then to learn it's not three or four weeks, but ten is another blow. And through it all, you have a tremendous amount of guilt on having let your teammates, fans, and organization down. After all, they were depending on you to bring them a championship. That's what quarterbacks are supposed to do. That's how we're judged. I loved that. I still do. But then here you are, sidelined, without any real ability to help your teammates win on the field. That's when you're forced to come face to face with what's happening. Seasons are fleeting. Games become more precious. Chances for success diminish. Your potential successor has arrived, injured two years in a row, and now in the mid-30s. The press is whispering, everyone has doubts, you spent your career working to get here. Now we have to start all over. You almost feel like an outsider. The coaches are sympathetic, but they still have to coach, and you're not there. It's a dark place. Probably the darkest it's ever been. You're sad and down and out, and you ask yourself, why did this have to happen? It's in this moment that you find out who you really are and what you're really about. You see, football is a meritocracy. You aren't handed anything. You earn everything, every single day, over and over again. You have to prove it. That's the way that the NFL, that's the way that football works. A great example of this is Dak Prescott and what he's done. He's earned the right to be our quarterback. As hard as that is for me to say, he's earned that right. He's guided our team to an 8 1 record, and that's hard to do. If you think for a second that I don't want to be out there, then you've probably never felt the pure ecstasy of competing and winning. That hasn't left me. In fact, it may burn more now than ever. It's not always easy to watch. I think anybody who's been in this position understands that. But it, what is clear, is that I was that kid once. 
not just by his stepping in, having to prove yourself. I remember the feeling like it was yesterday. Absolutely. It really is an incredible time in your life. Hands at the Thompson coming at left guard, and he's knocked down for no gain. I don't f***ing care at all.